Hi, this is meant to be a quick video on installing Red Hat's Code Ready Containers, which is OpenShift 4 on your laptop. So as we've discussed in a previous video, Kubernetes is the project and OpenShift is the distribution. So Code Ready Containers basically compares pretty favorably to things like Minikube. And it's uh, possible to have this up and running on your laptop in just a few minutes, as we'll show here. We will have a few pause points in this video, and we've uh, saved some time in a few places. But uh, in general, that's really just to maintain the flow that we have for the conversation. So here we go. So in the first place, we'll include the link to this download area, but you'll go ahead and click on install OpenShift on your laptop. And that will direct you to a redhat.com login page. It is free to sign up, but you'll need to go ahead and do that. Then it will take you to this page, which is where we'll go ahead and download the Code Ready Containers installer. And we'll also go ahead and copy the pull secret down. So we'll go ahead and take that at this point, and we're going to go into our terminal. We've already CD into the installer location. The next thing that we need to do is actually set up our path so that it actually points to the, the, per, the current working directory, just to save ourselves some, uh, some time there so that there's no preamble. Uh, so, excuse me, that uh, requires this equal sign. And from here, uh, what we should be able to do is go ahead and type CRC setup. That's the first command. It will ask us for root access just for uh, one, uh, one or two pieces that it needs to do. It'll pull down the CRC executable. So I'm actually going to go ahead and pause the video here, and we'll come back when this piece is finished. And we're back. So the setup itself has been completed. There were a couple of places that we had to enter our password, did a 10 gig download. And so now it's recommending that we do a CRC start. This will take a few minutes as well. So we'll go ahead and pause again, and we'll come back when this step is completed. Actually, it is good to show the pull secret itself being pulled down. So we'll go ahead and copy this again, just in case I wasn't what was in my clipboard. We'll enter this, click enter as well. And so now it's actually loading this and we'll go ahead and pause again. And we're back again. So it looks like that started all right. And so what it does recommend that we do is actually run the CRC OC EMV command to get the command that we should be running to set up our uh, command line access. And then from here, uh, we'll go ahead and run, we're gonna go ahead and copy this password. This is just a local password and we'll be deleting this CRC instance before we publish the video, of course. But in any event, the next step is to actually run CRC console if we just wanna see the web UI. We've got our password and our clipboard. Uh, it does sometimes take a few minutes for the server to warm up after it initially starts. So we'll go ahead and pause the video again after we launch this. It'll just uh, open a web browser and we'll come back when it's actually ready. We just may have to refresh a few times. All right, we're back. And so with any luck, we should be able to go ahead and log in at this point. And we'll be logging in as kubeadmin just for the sake of the video and the walkthrough here. And so now we're looking at our Code Ready Containers environment for the first time. And we've done videos on this uh, a couple of different ways. So if you want to see a demonstration of running a Node.js app or something like that, we can do that. But in any event, we are now running a local version of OpenShift Container Platform on our laptop. So just a matter of minutes, and we were up and running. Now, if we're doing any kind of local development work, prior to putting it into an OCP pre-prod environment, staging, what have you, uh, we're able to, to start to do very much like for like. And, uh, and that's pretty cool.